Hello everyone! So we're celebrating Pride here in London and I thought that it would be no better of a time than to feature this rainbow mango sticky rice that I had in Thailand earlier this year. And um, all of the rice is actually colored with natural ingredients so um, it's not going to be crazy with food coloring and it looks absolutely gorgeous and um, so so delicious. So I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. So I actually started this recipe by soaking one cup of short grain rice in water for right around four hours. Afterwards, I steamed this rice as opposed to boiling it in a pot or anything. And what this ensures is that each kernel of rice remains separate and it doesn't get you know too clumped together or too mushy or anything. So I got these ingredients in Thailand, but I'll put the links down below. This is blue pea flour, and it was the coolest discovery that I found. I'm putting right around one tablespoon, you can put a little bit more in, um, plus two tablespoons of boiling water. And it starts off not being too crazy blue, but if you wait right around 20 minutes, check out how blue this looks. So you only need um, two tablespoons of that liquid, but you can also make like really nice teas with it as well. And then to color the red, my friend actually told me that they used roselle or um, hibiscus in this. And I, I bought a package of that, but because it was dried, it actually turned out a little browner than usual. So what I did was I added a little bit of um, beetroot powder to it. And then this is pandan leaves. So I just grabbed a couple leaves of pandan and some water and I blended that all together. But to make it a little bit easier, you can also use matcha as well. Now comes that rich coconut cream base. So I'm putting in right around one and a quarter cups of coconut cream into the cup and then really depending on how sweet you like it. So I'm gonna put in a quarter cup of um, demerara sugar. Now if you wanna keep this like nice and white, maybe you can use white sugar as well, but the sweetness is up to you and this is definitely a recipe where if you wanted to substitute for a sugar substitute, that's definitely um, an option. So there's gonna be a little bit of repetition here. Um, I have my heat up at like medium to medium high and I'm just gonna put my rice and one quarter of that coconut cream mixture in. And I'm just gonna cook it for right around two to three minutes up until the rice kind of absorbs some of that coconut milk and some of that coconut milk um, dissipates as well so that I get a thicker uh, consistency. They look so pretty. So I basically let them rest for about a half an hour so that they'd finish absorbing up all of that coconut milk. And I don't put it into the refrigerator or anything. And um, I'm just going to serve it pretty much uh, room temperature like this. Towards the end, I'm just gonna sprinkle over a little bit of um, toasted mung beans, which is the way that I had it in Thailand. And that is really it. It's pretty simple. You can color it with whatever colors that you want, but this is so pretty and it's all naturally colored and um, it's not too sweet. So I'm sure that you guys will all love it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe and happy pride to wherever you are. As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next time. Bye.